What is going on, Cubs fam? It is Wednesday. We're here for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And today's video, we got big things to talk about today. So I didn't think it was right to do it alone. So why don't we bring in Heinzy? What's up, Heinzy? <sighs> Hey Cubs, how you going? Cubs fam, what, happy what are you, hump day. What are you doing there? Happening. You're just in the background going like this? Is I, was just, yeah, I, was, I was getting psyched up. I was getting pumped up for a video <laughs> with my boy Cubs. How can I not be psyched about that? We do that? always, every time we do videos together, we all get, we get a little too hype. We're like little schoolboys that are just... I know, I know. <laughs> we've, we've had it in the feedback. Everyone's gone, guys, just take it back a notch. Just, just chillax a bit. Less but... fosters for Heinze, right? Oh, don't get me started on that, Foster. Dude, come on, man. We've talked about this. Question of the day, Cubs fam. Has Capital Games changed? This is something that I, I, I think a lot of people may feel resistant to discuss because we've been burned how many times, and I want to respect that discussion. But it is, Heinze, it's been player-friendly after player-friendly after player-friendly decision. And the question I'm asking myself is, why are they doing this? And so, do you think that, there, that things are different? Do you think management has had a change of heart? Do you think things are changing over at CG? Everything points to yes. Um, they haven't really put too many... They haven't put a foot wrong too much lately. I, I, I mean, since... Since the Vader rework. I was going to say, um, since the Vader rework is where it all changed. From that point onwards, everything's been on the, the up and up. Um, slight hiccup with Galactic Challenges, but that's starting to find its feet. We've talked about that before. Um, yeah. But but all in all, the character releases are fantastic. Everyone's actually in a really good positive mind, you know, frame of mind. Yep. Um, and and be that's really all we wanted. But, yeah, CG are doing some fantastic things. But keep it going. That's yes. what we want. If you keep that going, keep this momentum. We said this, I think, like the last few weeks when we're talking on videos, keep this momentum rolling. Yeah. We're already starting to see people come back to the game. It's it's happening. Yeah. It really is happening. Yeah, and it's let's, brewing along. Let's stack along. up why. Let's stack up why. So we had the Vader rework, right? We had yeah. a Galactic Legends release that yes. uh, while it's still Galactic Legends, how can we call them player friendly? But in the context of... What Galactic Legends are, they had a lot of carryover characters needed. Uh, there, there were some characters they could have required that they chose not to. Um, yeah. They've added some farms that are very uh, valuable, like Grief Karga being on the Y-Wings node, for example. Very player-friendly. Uh, Galactic Challenges have had some adjustments made. They've listened to player feedback directly. They got rid of the gear gate in Galactic Challenges completely. They've got new character releases going into Galactic Challenges with those characters being in the early phases. So basically, I, I have a friend who just hit level 60. He unlocked Quill um, yeah. at level 60 because he just started playing. Shout out to Spencer. Um, and then also they've included this, this logic that they're going to be adding these characters into Cantina drops for a temporary amount of time. And now, of course, the announcement that once characters have been out, basically, I think if I'm reading this right, once they've been out for a year, they're going to have double shard drops through the entire game, be it yeah. wherever they are in the game, not just nodes, but in shipments everywhere else and i'm sure i'm missing things Heinze, that's like a lot that's a mouthful of stuff that they've done and what's notable to me Heinze, is it's not just decisions that are that are nice but they're decisions that none of them they, they were really absolutely necessary you know they're yeah, all yeah. very appreciated but usually i only see i in history i've only seen them kind of get into a corner about something and begrudgingly make a change but this is like out of their way we're going to make this change. This only benefits the players exclusively. I couldn't have summed it up any better than that. I mean, the way that things are looking, and we've still got some time to go the, yeah. by the end of this year. Right. We could be looking at one of the best years in this game, the way that things are going along. Which when is crazy. That's crazy to be who given how bad the beginning of this year. Through? <laughs> yeah. Who they did it all in six months. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought after Ray and Kylo were released that we'd be even mentioning that this year? Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Ever since that point, something's changed. Yep. Again, we don't know what it is because we're not on the inside. We're on the outside. And a lot of it is speculation and information that we'll we get from all We'll have to ask Galactic War Report. Sources. They'll tell us. 
Well, maybe they will, and they do a good job. Good on them. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Um, but uh, it, I, I'm really, really thrilled with what I'm seeing, and yeah. I swear, if if we see something massive, like again, I know that we talked about this, a new raid or something yes. else to f- cap this year off and finish this off on a high, we could look back and say that this is the best year in this game. And I never, ever thought early on that we'd be saying that. I and, just and, didn't. And I'm pulling up the State of the Galaxy post here, uh, something that's very notable when they talk about the fifth anniversary. Um, we are celebrating the game's fifth anniversary next month, blah, blah, blah. The anniversary is a great moment to look back at how the game has evolved. Um, we've already mentioned some bigger changes coming to the economy. This is coming soon. He crossed that out because now they've done that. So it's interesting yes. that he's crossed that out now. That was edited on October 3rd or 30th. Yes. So he, he did yep. that before, but I, I, what other changes are coming? And he says, but we also have some announcements regarding changes to galactic challenges. Stay tuned for next month's road ahead. And so this was of course in October. So road ahead, when, when, when are we going to see that road ahead? Heinze, do you think that's, Coming this week, do you think that these posts are kind of ramping up to a big road ahead with more player-friendly changes uh, changes announced? Look, I hope so. I, I, I really hope so because, again, let's keep this momentum rolling. I know I said this at the start, but you're doing Keep rolling, amazing... rolling, rolling, rolling. Come yeah. on. That's right. Just Little keep it coming. For you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I did it all for the nookie. Come on. Oh, sorry, wrong song. Okay, let's move on. Uh, but... <laughs> um, but, yeah, keep... Keep this train rolling. That's that's all we want, and that's all we said from the start. Communication is increasing. I didn't that's even mention great. Doja Fett in my player friendly. Tra- like they've they've completely revamped their communication. How much more yeah. communication are we getting? Communications increase. Characters we've always wanted are bigger and better and even more awesome. We've got Galactic Legends that are attainable, whereas before. They were a massive hill to climb. Galactic um, Challenge is still at least some tweaking, but that's obviously something yeah. that they're going to be addressing in the road ahead. So Yeah, but but at least they have use and value now with obviously character releases and also and with the, mod the new slicing. mod material. Yeah. Yep. So that's now something that is, you know, not repeatedly playable. It's, I mean, it's made to repeat. We don't. Yeah. We go in, we knock it out, we're done, we move on. Um, that, that's not replayable content for us, but at least it has the value, and now we understand why it was implemented in the first place. Yep. Um, Journey Guide's been fantastic, and I know that's oh, not yeah. this year, but but that's been a, a fantastic inclusion to this game. So oh, yeah. if, if, you're, if you're stepping into this game from the start, uh, the, the new releases, oh, they the new releases with the shard drops don't actually affect me at all. I, I, then they're not much use to me. Right. I, I have these characters at seven star. Oh, but um, it's useful but, for me. I, I'm correct. Like, it's you're a kraken, right, or a whale, decent whale. You've got these characters. For me, like I'm farming still for a supreme leader, Kylo Ren and Rey. Yeah. And I don't have the shards for Resistance Hero Poe. I don't have yeah. the shards for Sith Trooper finished yet. Or yeah. Hawks finished. I'm I'm on their sixth star going to seven stars, but I can't that update can't come soon enough because I want to finish that thing ASAP. <laughs> yeah, but but I've got guys, for instance, like uh, and, and I'm gonna mention his name. There's a there's a guy out there, uh, Aramal, and, yeah. and he's he has an account that's about three point five, I think, or four mil. He's looking at this and going, This is what I want. Now I this can is fast track a lot more of my farms. I'm getting closer to big characters like um, you know, Darth Revan that, you know, he's got Jedi Knight Revan, but he couldn't get to Darth Revan yet. Yep. This is going to fast track that progression. It, it, All yep. of those sorts of things make a huge difference to the mid tier players, not end game players. So. And, and I like that. And this is my theory too. I have seen CG in the last little bit. It seems like they have a lot of concern for making this game playable for new players. And yeah. I think that they're pulling it off so far. Um, I know yeah. my, my buddy Spencer, who just started playing the game, good friend of mine. I actually, mm-hmm. it's funny, I, I met the guy because we go to church together, and he found yep. out, he's like, oh, you're a YouTuber? What game do you play? I have no, he, he literally told me, he's like, I have no interest in this game. No interest at all. I was like, well, you know, don't, that's fine, you know? And he's like, well, I'll download it and try it anyway. And then a week later, he came to me, he's like, all right, I'm pretty addicted now, so I need you to show me what to do. <laughs> and and th- these changes to him, he was just like, oh my gosh. This is amazing. He, and he he loved that he was able to get Quill. He loved that he's going to be able to get IG-11. And so yep. the game, they're doing change. It's fun to see the game from his perspective and see how these changes are 
really impactful to him. So, Heinze, last question I want to talk about before we uh, jump off, and we're going to record a video for you, too. I'm going to encourage all of you to jump down below. Um, we'll see if we can get that in the description and, uh, and get you guys over there. But um, what, what more does CG need to do at this point? I mean, a lot, I, I think of a lot of the changes that we've asked for, and I think we've got a pretty long list of check marks that, of things yeah. that, that have changed. And so I, I have a few ideas that I'll add, but I'm curious to hear what your take is first. What more needs to happen now? Number one raid. Simple. Number one, we need a raid. It's been way too long for a new raid. I think they're working on them. We, we believe they're working on one. Um, we, we, we at least want to hear that there's one in the works, even if you're not going to drop it yet. Just tell us that, yeah, there's one or there isn't. Yeah, if the road ahead mentions a raid, I'm going to fall over on my face. I'm going to be so Why happy. not? I mean, we, <laughs> we're so gonna... overdue. We're, we're so overdue. We're closer than further. We have to be. Yeah. And the other thing that, 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 that has been, again, mentioned just in passing in the post was uh, looking at the gear next. Now, yep. Oh, dude. The gear grind is still the biggest challenge in this game. Yep. We know that, guys. We got told it was going to be relieved in the past. It hasn't been. Get that right, and people could are going to come flooding back to this imagine, game, baby. Could you imagine if they do exactly what they did with character shard drops but with gear? Done. That's all it. All the gears That's doubled. All. People that have left the game will come back. The gear grind was just too much for a lot of people. They said, you know what, I'm sick of this, and they walked away ages ago. They will come back because... All of a sudden, the developers are listening to the people. Number one rule of sales, Cups. Give the people what they want. They'll keep coming back for more. It's as simple as that. But not too much of what they want, right, CG? Just enough. Just, Just enough. enough. you got to have that so little wall I, I there. I think you Just hit on two bit. big points. I was, I was going to mention the gear crunch. I wasn't going to mention a raid, although I completely agree with you. In fact, I gave you a standing ovation. But here, here's what I think. <laughs> Consistency, all right? So yeah. now, now you've started doing these things. Okay, you've yep. shown us that you're listening. You've made the changes and you got a tough crowd to sell to. Now, I'm in the camp right now where I'm starting to look at CG and going, all right, you've got my interest. You've got mm. my interest. You've got my attention. And I feel like you're changing and I applaud you for it. Um, and there's still a part of me that's a little apprehensive. Like, okay, so how long is this going to last before it's same old CG? We've had this stuff for five years. We This is our first rodeo, and three to four months of good things doesn't mean that everything is magically better. And so I'm going to be anxiously waiting to see how consistent they are. And so far, the signs point to consistency. They're remaining consistent right now. I just want to see that continue through the end of 2020 and into 2021. Yep. Keep it coming. Keep, Keep rolling, it coming. rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> what? Come on! Ooh. All right, we're, we're going to get out of here, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the video. Jump on over to Heinze's video and let us know what all you guys are thinking about these changes. I could not be happier. I hope to see it continue. All right, guys, see you later. And as always, my brothers, don't forget, Foster's is king. <laughs> Give up. Man.